Hello and welcome to Reinfused. This is a relatively quick video, it probably won't be, but it's a <laughs> off schedule one because uh, I recently received a new piece of hardware that I wanted to show you. So uh, not this, this is a Sega Saturn and um, this video isn't really about the Sega Saturn, kind of. I will do a proper video about the Sega Saturn at some point because it is a fascinating console, especially its history. But this is more about playing games on the Sega Saturn. So Sega Saturn obviously is a CD. Let's turn that around. <laughs> is a CD machine. And like a lot of CD machines of this age, the mechanism starts to break down and parts are harder to get, etc, etc. Uh, this one, for instance, the CD has burned out. I can replace it. It is possible, but it's not cheap. So there are numerous solutions to this. So in terms of ones that aren't affected, well, don't, don't help, aren't helped by the CD breaking. There's the, uh, pseudo Saturn, which you can get by, uh, reflashing an action replay card. Doesn't help here because that just helps you play, um, backups or import games. I use this for Japanese games because, I mean, I said before, most of my Saturn games are actually Japanese because you can get them, like, bulk of them really cheap from Japan. So that's how I tend to get Saturn games. There's, uh, other systems which replace the whole of the drive mechanism, mechanism inside with an SD card solution. Now they work. Uh, it's quite good, but um, you're you, you're going to end up modifying your Saturn, and maybe you don't want to do that for lots of reasons. I don't want to do it because I like keeping machines as uh, as cherry as I can. Uh, other people may not be comfortable doing that; just may not be comfortable opening up the machines at all. So uh, they are downsides to to doing that. And that's really kind of been it in terms of solutions. I've had obviously these mod chips, which were even more intrusive. But in terms of other solutions, there's not been many more until now. So it's not out yet. It's still in beta, but uh, there is a new device in town. So we'll open this up. So this is called the Satiator. Satiator, I'm not sure. It's uh, by Professor Abrasive. Uh, he's done a few things in now. Right, there we go. Uh, and I have to like, specify, first of all, because he's asked me to, that this is very much beta. This is the first release that's been released to anyone other than himself. Uh, that includes the case, although the case is wonderful. I really do like the case. He's done a really good job on this. Uh, I would not be displeased if this ends up being the final case, let's put it that way. Uh, there's even this little bit here, look. So there's a little tab which pulls out, which helps you get it out of the machine, which will be come obvious why that's there in a second. Yeah, so this is an SD card solution. So uh, we have an SD card at the back. We just plug that in. This is a 128 gig one, which I'm using. Uh, he has personally, Professor Abrazer that is, tested it on uh, the new one terabyte cards. And one terabyte would be enough for you to put every single Saturn game on there. Uh, and with some room to spare for homebrew. So that's pretty cool. Other um, people have tested it with uh, 256 and 512 as well when they've worked. Um, obviously though, it's going to depend on the brand. I know that SanDisk are ones that are mostly being used at the moment. So this, where does this go? Well... There is a little used port on the back of the Saturn. I mean, the door you might have used because uh, depending on how long you've had your Saturn for, because it also holds the uh, memory battery in there. But this is the VCD port. And so what this was used for was to put in a VCD decoder card. Now, VCD as a video format, despite being the first really properly digital uh, video CD format, it's not really used. It was, it did okay over in Japan and uh, some place in Korea, but it didn't really do well over in the West. So we don't really have any use for this port until now. So the satiator card with the satiator facing upwards slides into here and there we go, just plugs straight into that. And so that's nice and neat inside there. That's really kind of cool. Then we can do that back up again. So that's it. That plugs into it. And so yeah, so a couple of years ago, uh, Professor Bracer released a load of, uh, stuff he was working on, uh, on, on Twitter. And, uh, there was a YouTube video as well. And he worked out that the VCD port was able to communicate with the CD drive. And so with a lot of, a lot of experimentation, a lot of work, a lot of, uh, trial and error, he's now got to the point where he has these beta units. And there are a few of us testing them. Uh, I am one of them. I literally got mine today. So I've only done a quick, go on them. I've got a few games on the, the SD card. They're mostly European ones because I'm testing European ones out. There's a lot of Americans who've got this before me and they're testing the American releases out. 
So uh, we'll go for a few games and see how they actually work out. And uh, I'll be using this time as well to actually test those games so I can update the the testing spreadsheet. It's going very well. There's been a couple of, of issues have been found, but they're nothing serious. Games seem to work pretty much. So um, yeah, it's an amazing, <laughs> an amazing device, especially for beta. But again, yep, the hardware and the software are beta and they are in flux. There's already been one update to the firmware to fix a couple of issues and there'll be many more before this gets released, but it's already pretty stable. So I don't think it's going to be that long before this is actually available. And I think it, as of this point, I think it is the best solution for um, playing backed up games on the Sega Saturn. Right. Well, let's get this powered up connected and we'll try some games out see you in a minute okay so here we are this is the menu of the satiator so this will boot up when you bring up your uh, Sega Saturn uh, it pretends to be a disc effectively and so it runs this program with the list of games uh, again this is all going to be improved this is very much the beta and uh, I doubt it'll look anything like this to be honest so uh, let's just get stuck into a game again like I said it's mostly European games because that's what I'm testing at the moment but I do have uh, Dracula Rex uh, which is a Japanese game just to give it a try so anyway let's start off with uh, 3D Lemmings just hit the A button to give it a load and now it will pretend basically to load from a disc the screen will probably go black occasionally. Uh, it's not the satiator, it's the capture device, which has a bit of an issue with the way the Saturn changes resolutions. I'll probably have cut most of that out, to be honest. Right, so there we go. Some FMV is uh, a little bit jumpy at the moment. We That's a known issue, and uh, we're, we know, well, uh, the prof knows it can be fixed because he's had it running battery smooth before. So here we are at the practice screen. So, yeah, okay, let's give the blockers a try. Okay, well this certainly looks like I remember <laughs> Lemmings 3D looking. Uh, not a particular favourite game of mine. I love Lemmings, but yeah, Lemmings 3D was not great. Let's go! Okay, what are we doing here? We're... Oh, I... How do I zoom in? Oh no. <laughs> I've already messed up. <laughs> Well, um, I can't blame. How do you block? <laughs> what buttons you use to block? All oh, right, the the left shoulder button. That makes sense. Um, I guess it's acting like a mouse pointer, but yeah, no, oh my, 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 just, right. <laughs> I don't know what that's done. But anyway, <laughs> Lemmings 3D seems to work. Uh, now we've got a reset, which will probably mess up the recording, and uh, so I will be doing some cutting. Okay, we're back at the main menu. So, uh, yeah, that worked. That was uh, as good as I remember. So, uh, well, let's give Dracula Rex a go. So it's a Japanese game, and it's obviously a PAL uh, European Saturn. So, let's see how this goes. 
My uh, capture device keeps turning off my television because it doesn't like the signal coming in. So that's been interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just click through because I don't know where any of this is. I really should replace the battery in my Saturn as well. So it actually does retain data. Okay, so this is obviously uh, simulated CD loading. There we go. Right. So this is just for the time, this was a gorgeous game. The Saturn may not have been the top at 3D, but 2D games it really just did so well. Just the animation, the colours, it's all very, very pretty. <laughs> I think I've started some kind of weird boss rush thing. Because this would appear to be a boss already. Yeah. I don't know what I clicked on. <laughs> Unskippable dialogue. I love it. <laughs> right, I imagine I cut that because it was very long. <laughs> oh, there he is. Quick, look away. Oh, I use the specials. That. It was effective though. <laughs> I think this is one of the first import games I ever owned. I think it probably was. I'm not doing very well at all. Anyway, let's go on to, uh, we'll show one more game. Again, uh, this will go very wrong as we're uh, having to reset. Okay, uh, well let's give, sorry for the flashing by the way, I'll try to minimise it. Um, what should we try? Let's do Daytona, that's a nice classic Saturn game. Right, so here we are, the classic Saturn game. Uh, let's give it a, a start. Um, it's a good game. It's a good, nice racing game. Very simple. Uh, I wasn't hugely into uh, racing games at the time I had my Saturn originally. Even though I was big on motorsport, but mostly I was into Formula One. So yeah, Daytona didn't really didn't really capture me that much. But um, no, it's a good enough game. Go for the first one. There we go. Okay. And uh, hopefully the sound's working because uh, yeah, the, the classic <laughs> tune. I got the right accelerator. I got the right Two, button for accelerate. One, I guess we'll find out. Nope, nope, that is not the button for accelerate. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. <laughs> right, so A is handbrake. That's something to remember. Or brake, I guess, whichever one it was. Right. We're catching up, it's fine. And yeah, this is uh, playing just as. Ooh, blimey. Hello. Just as well as it should do. <laughs> I am doing exactly as well as I expect myself to do in this game. So, you know, that's scientific. Oh. Oh. Nothing is racing. Oh, blimey. Well, that, oh, no. Don't get the accelerator. If you jam on the accelerator, then it's vaguely realistic and it will send you spinning. So for a bit, and ease ourselves. There we are. 
fast not so fast. Right. <laughs> well, this was just a quick look at the beta of the Satiator, so um, I'll be doing some more uh, testing on this. I might uh, stream some actually as well, uh, while I'm testing as well. Um, be interesting how the streaming software handles the constant resolution changes. It's, um, you know what, this is a compelling device. Um, it's got, this is great promise, because this is the first round of beaters. This is very, very early. And it's already pretty stable. And um, yeah, I like the case, even though it is just a kind of first design of the case. And uh, it all seems to work. The menu is simplistic, but I don't mind simplistic, but I suspect it will get less simplistic as it goes on. Uh, and it seems to handle things like uh, multi-discs and stuff like that, so still some features and some bugs to work out, but um, for a very early beta, this shows astonishing promise, it really does. It. Right, well, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. I can't believe I... Anyway. <laughs> if you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. Uh, and... Uh, Prof Abrasive is, uh, I believe, Prof underscore Abrasive on Twitter. So um, if you want uh, to ask me questions about it, then uh, well. go ahead, ask me. You can ask me as well, or ask him. That's, um, yeah. Excellent. See you next time. <laughs>